Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my spoiler-free review of The Batman, the 2022 movie uh, starring Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, John Turturro, uh, Colin Farrell, Jeffrey Wright. I'm trying to remember all the people that's in this. <laughs> uh, Peter Skarsgård, he's in it, uh, right? Uh, Colin Farrell, I said him. Zoe Kravitz, Robert Pattinson's Batman, Jeffrey Wright. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Matt Reeves' uh, version. Now, we, yeah, I guess in a way... <laughs> Uh, this was the movie that was originally, I guess, supposed to be the Ben Affleck movie, but when, you know, Ben Affleck was supposed to write and direct it, then he didn't want to do it. Uh, uh, actually, they hired Matt Reeves to, to, uh, to, you know, they gave him the script, but then he didn't want to do that script. He wanted to, you know, kind of start from fresh and do it over again, and we get this version of it. And like I said, um, when Robert Pattinson was, I think I made a video, too, when Robert Pattinson was first announced. I said I'd give him a chance and see how he did with this movie. And again, I have to say, this is one of my most anticipated movies of uh, this year, superhero movies. I know there's a lot of DC movies coming out, and this was definitely when I was most, I guess, most enthusiastic about, because from all the things we've seen, from the pictures, the trailers, everything else, it just looked fantastic. Okay, and I like Matt Reeves as a director, and again, I like Robert Pattinson as an actor, and I like the cast, so, and I love Batman, so I was so looking forward to this. And I, yeah, I went to see it today at AMC Theaters, in IMAX, I saw it in IMAX, and it was absolutely packed. And I have to say, I absolutely love this movie. This is, I guess, uh, one of my favorite movies of the year. You know, so far I've seen a, some a few movies this year, but this is definitely my favorite movie this year. I, 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 it, it delivered everything that I wanted in a Batman movie, and this is sort of Batman Year Two. You know, you got a youngish Batman in this, in Robert Pattinson. You know, he's not a newbie exactly, but he, you know, he's. He's this is like the second year in Gotham is as corrupt as ever, <laughs> okay. And there's a new villain in town, and he has to kind of solve that mystery and find out, you know, trying trying to work with the cops who don't totally trust him, of course, obviously, and stuff. And this and this is this movie I would describe this movie as sort of Seven meets uh, Batman meets Seven and uh, uh, what else? What other movie? Kind of a David Fincher movie too. It kind of has that vibe to it, and to it has sort of this. This ominous thread, you know, going out throughout the whole movie, and it's just really crazy. And again, Robert Pattinson uh, is just absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to do the spoiler review of this so I can get into detail about him. But I thought he was fantastic as uh, as the Batman in this movie. He was absolutely fantastic, intimidating when he has to be, and just you know, again, you get more of the detective side of Batman in this movie. I guess so. I don't know. That, that's not a spoiler technically because we knew going in that's what this movie was, was going to be. And he really delivered. They really again. The script I thought for this movie was at was on point, and we got a really really great Batman movie out of this. And again, uh, the cast I can't rave, keep raving on the cast. Robert Pattinson, of course, was great. I love Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle. I thought she was fantastic, and so that's sexy and like straight out of the comics. And just I think she worked worked well with Robert Pattinson. And and then of course Jeffrey Wright, who to me is like the. Uh, set of an MVP in this. Jeffrey Wright's a great actor anyway. Love him in mostly everything he does. And he worked, I thought he worked well as as, as uh, James Gordon with the Batman character in the movie and the way that it's portrayed, their their relationship, the way it's portrayed in this uh, movie. I really enjoyed it, the whole vibe of it. And again, I thought he just, I, I thought that, the, you know, the, the acting chemistry between him and Robert Pattinson, I thought was really good. And I look forward to seeing him in more movies, you know, as, as Commissioner Gordon, I thought, he, or James Gordon, <laughs> or Lieutenant Gordon, I guess he's in this movie. Uh, I I thought he was just absolutely fantastic, and this again, you you believe it, you totally buy it. And again, Jeffrey Wright's a great actor anyway. Okay, and Colin Farrell, uh, who I've talked about before, like again, I didn't even know. Again, I thought he was, I thought he was Powers Booth. For some, you know, I think that Powers Booth is dead. I got to look that up, but I think Powers Booth, the actor, is dead. But that's who he reminded me of, Colin Farrell. I don't see any. <laughs> He totally immersed himself in this part because I don't see Colin Farrell. When I look at him, I don't see Colin Farrell. Okay, and if you didn't, if you told me that was somebody, another actor, I, I would believe it because Colin Farrell totally under the makeup and stuff, he vanishes and in the accent, he vanishes into the Penguin Oswell Qualify. He 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 totally he vanishes, and I can't even recognize Colin Farrell. He's like a totally different person, uh, and I guess that's the point. <laughs> And he's re he was really good too, and uh, well, and I mean, you see from the trailers and stuff, you know, he he's just really good and really intense. And a lot, of, a lot of again, this is a really strong cast. Peter Skarsgård is in this, who I didn't I, I didn't realize until I saw that clip with the um, 
uh, the you know the funeral clip that they released a few weeks ago. Uh, you know that he's in this movie. He's in it uh, again. John Turturro's in this. Uh, again, you got a really strong supporting cast in this movie as well. And Andy Serkis is Alfred. Okay, I would have liked to see him. Yeah, I, I, I liked his character, and there's some really good moments with him and and Bruce in this movie. Again, which you and again, this is remember this is year two of Batman, so you, you know their relationship. You have to watch it to understand what I'm gonna what I'm talking about. But I like their relationship, and there's a couple of moments in this movie that I'm gonna talk about in my spoiler review between those two characters that I that I thought was really really well done. Uh, there's really that that much that I this movie is three hours long, but to me this movie is never boring and never slow or anything like this. The movie to me was intense, and again it had that kind of you know that seven vibe to it. Uh, you know how the movie Seven, I, 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 and I remember telling somebody about this when I saw the movie Seven. Seven stayed with me for like a week after I seen the movies <laughs> because that was just that it has this this sort of this sort of tone to it, and this kind of, this Batman movie kind of reminds me of that too. Okay, and again the villain again played by Paul Dano, uh, I thought was great. The Riddler, oh my God, this he was again one of the most scariest uh, interpretations of the Riddler. That I've seen, and just really, really well done from Paul Dano, who I, you know is a good actor, uh, too. Again, like I said, the supporting cast is just top notch in this movie, and again, I thought Matt Reeves did a great job with this, and I can't wait to see more sequels. <laughs> hopefully, with this, uh, with this franchise, because I thought he did a great job, and I can't wait to see the Batman character explored more. I love the world they created. I love the Batmobile. The Batmobile is freaking awesome, it's like a muscle car, but on steroids and it's absolutely fantastic in the action. Uh, again, the character of the Batman, again, this is not, you know, this this is an, an intense Batman in this movie. And, I, and I'm going to talk about that in my spoiler review. Okay, a really intense Batman in this movie. Just absolutely fantastic. And I, there's only a few uh, moments that I'll talk about in my, in my uh, spoilers review that, okay, I, I, I saw another review and I kind of agree at a certain point about something that happened in the movie, but I'll talk about that in the spoilers when I do my spoiler review of this. But other than that, this is to me is the best movie right now of 2022, hands down. Just a great, great cast, great acting. Uh, great. I love the way they portrayed Batman in this movie as a, as a detective, figuring things out, okay, and intense, okay, and just a guy that's, you know, learning to be what, he, what Gotham needs him to be and just really intense. And I love, again, the this, this, this supporting cast in this movie is really, really strong. And okay, so I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give uh, The Batman, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Now, some people were saying, oh, this is uh, better than The Dark Knight. I don't know about that. I think this movie is like like on the same level. I don't think it's better than The Dark Knight. I do think it's on the same level because I think that The Dark Knight was just an, uh, uh, you know, just a, a, a great movie, a gangster movie, basically. And with Batman in it, and I think this is a like a thriller, like a like a seven with Batman in it. <laughs> okay, but I I enjoyed both movies. It, I both I enjoyed both of those movies, and I I don't think one is better than the other. Okay, I just I really enjoyed both of them for what they are. And again, this is movies like I said, three hours, never boring to me, never slow, never. Well, I'm going, oh my god, and I I'm proud of myself that I <laughs> I was able to not go to the bathroom during this movie. <laughs> I stayed I stayed in my seat even though. I, I didn't realize this to it until actually I saw people getting up to go to the bathroom because uh, I saw it in IMAX and the way you go into the IMAX theater in AMC, in the one in Manhattan is uh, you go in on the third floor, but the bathroom lets you off to get out. I mean, if, if you wanted to go, there, there's two ways guys to go to to leave the theater, go to the bathroom. You can go back the way you came, which is you go down a level because I was sitting like in the second tier. You go down the level and then you know, you'd have to come out from where I was sitting because I was sitting on the end come around and then go down the steps and then come out and go to the back. Or you could just make a left and the exit was right there on the second level, a, a level above where the IMAX theater is because it's an IMAX screen. So then, and then the bathroom was right there, right to the, so I could have actually went, but I didn't, I wanted to, I didn't want to miss a thing. So I held my, and I'm proud of myself that I held out and didn't go to the bathroom after the movie <laughs> was over. Okay. And this movie is fantastic and I can't recommend it enough and definitely see this movie again. I hope this movie does gangbusters. Uh, Hopefully this weekend does the gangbusters because this movie deserves it. This movie is fantastic. Matt Reeves, my hat's off to you. Robert Pattinson, the whole cast. The writing was great in this. 
I can't wait to see more of this world and in future sequels. And I, I loved it. I guess that's again, 8.5 for me. I loved it. Okay. Like I said, there's only a few nibbles and, and quibbles I have with this movie, but I'll talk about that in my spoilers review of that. But other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Exactly. And I can't wait to get this movie on Blu-ray <laughs> and watch it over and over again. This I love this movie. Anyway, let me know what you think of The Batman. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Love Views and Opinions. You can check this out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my patron, and I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me and always having my back. And again, I want to say my patron, which is only $5 a month. I have tons of unedited TV show reactions on there. Uh, everything from Hawkeye to uh, Titans to Doom Patrol to The Mandalorian to The Book of Boba Fett, WandaVision, Loki, Hawkeye. Again, follow the link to the Patreon below and check it all out. Okay, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel and I truly appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.